So I just got done with two robo taxi rides and I figure I would provide my thoughts and kind of tell y'all how it works. Uh, so uh, it was awesome. It was absolutely amazing. I was super impressed at just how smooth that was. But let's talk about how specifically it works. So like other rideshare apps, you're going to download the RoboTaxi app. It's not available yet. It was just a very you know limited thing for a very limited amount of people for testing. You download this app, uh, you tell it where you want to go, you call the RoboTaxi, it comes and picks you up, and it takes you there. Simple as that. There's, that's really it. It is only limited to here in Austin for now. It is geofenced, which, you know, for it being out for the per first couple of hours, I expected that. Like, it's not like I can tell it to take me to Las Vegas or something like that. That would just be absolutely insane. But so it's geofenced to like the local downtown Austin area, which for some people they're already saying like, oh, that's not enough and it should be way bigger. Like it's only been out for like three hours, people. Like, give it a rest. But so we, I've had it, we had to take us to a couple of places and I was just thoroughly impressed with how smooth it was. It was so smooth to, I was at the mental point where if they put a screen between the front seats and the back seats where you couldn't see the front, you would never know that there was no driver in the driver's seat. It was that good. I'm, I'm telling y'all, it was, it was that good. I will stake my reputation on that one. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, funny things about two, so actually I wouldn't say funny, but things of how they're refining and how they're making it better is, so for example, say uh, it actually saves all of your settings. So for example, I want my car to be at 69 degrees. The app will actually upload your HVAC settings to the car and it will be cooled at 69 degrees when you get in it. You wanna to listen to certain types of music on a certain streaming service. It's going to do that for you too. You can have your Apple Music, you can have your Spotify, just for you know some examples and all that. You can do all that. You can play games. You can do everything from the back of this robo taxi. It will even tell you, of course, you know when you're going to arrive and just how long it's going to take to get there, similar to other streaming services. And like overall, it was great. Uh, so the only thing that I would like to see in the robo taxi app is I would like to see how many robo taxis are in the area. But keep in mind, this is literally just version one of the robo taxi app, but it doesn't tell you how many are in the area. So really you don't know how many are lurking around. So that's something I would like to see. Uh, something that was good, but could be better. I would like to, uh, so for example, as you're about to approach your destination, it will make a chime and it will tell you on the rear screen, like, hey, you're about to arrive, make sure you get all your belongings. I would like for it to uh, audibly tell me like, Hey, you're, you are about to arrive. Uh, please collect your belongings. Thank you for riding robo taxi, something like that. Because for me, I got it confused with my phone. I thought it was like my, you know, the chime was my phone going off. So those two minor things, and those are so minor, like that's it. Other than that, that was a fantastic experience in the robo taxi. I have high hopes for this, you know, going forward. Uh, as they start to expand, as they start adding more vehicles, because th that's another thing. This wasn't, you know, some random, like very fancy Tesla, like that was outfitted, like hardwired different. Nope. It was literally a Tesla Model Y that was manufactured in Austin less than a month ago. That's, that's it. That's like I said, that, that's, that's crazy that, you know, that we're at that point, but really folks, that's it. It's, that's that simple. I hope you enjoyed the video with the, I hope you got to like, you know, answer everything. If you didn't hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button below helps me out a ton, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.